Hello everyone, today we are talking about a common device of our kitchens, the microwave oven. It uses electromagnetic radiation to cook or heat some food. The microwave is perfect to transform the corn kernels into fluffy popcorn. But is it good for health? Can we put everything in it? I'm excited to explain this to you. Like many everyday objects, the microwave we find in our kitchens was invented by chance. Much like post-its or Velcro. But I'll explain that point in a different video. Let's talk about the microwave. At the end of the Second World War, Percy Spencer, an American engineer, worked on the new model of a device called the magnetron. Nothing to do with cooking. At that time, the magnetron was an element used in radars to better locate planes in flight thanks to ultra short waves. The legend says, one day, while he is a little hungry and takes a chocolate bar out of his pocket, the scientist quickly notices it has melted. He then has the idea to put some corn kernels in front of the magnetron. And then in astonishment, he has just made popcorn. Oops. That's how the microwave oven is born. The first model put up for sale was named Raider Range. And frankly, it was not practical. You needed a large kitchen as it measured 1.8 meters and weighted over 300 kilos. As bulky as a large refrigerator and heavy as a horse. To get one, you had to spend between two and three thousand dollars. That's the equivalent today of thirty thousand dollars. So naturally, at the beginning, the microwave was very little used, only in military canteens and hospitals. It was in the mid 1950s that the device began to enter into American households. In Europe, households had to wait until the 1970s to buy their first microwave ovens, and not every household could afford it. It was a luxury product. It could cost up to 6,000 francs, in other words, 10 times the minimum monthly wage. Then with the craze for prepared meals in the 80s and 90s. Along with technological advances, prices dropped and microwaves gradually became a must-have appliance in all kitchens. Today, according to national statistics, 90% of French households own one. Though modernized, the principle remains the same. This is called magnetron. Magnetron? Is that a science fiction character? No, it's not fiction. It's pure and simple science. Microwaves, I'm not talking about the device, are indeed electromagnetic waves. They are of the same nature as the very same light emitted by a single bulb. But much like infrared or even ultraviolet, they are invisible. Microwaves belong to the same family of waves which are used by radio, old televisions, and even Wi-Fi. Like all waves, they are characterized by their frequency. That is, the number of oscillations in one second. Frequency is measured in hertz. Microwaves oscillate at a very specific frequency, 2,450 megahertz. I did say mega. In other words, they oscillate 2,450 million times every second. Wow, that's quite a lot of movement. Yes, indeed, it moves a lot. As a result, Waves are extremely short in length. High frequencies, very short waves, that's the secret. Now, let's go to the kitchen. When we put a dish in the microwave, the food is bombarded with electromagnetic waves, which pass through it. And by doing so, the water molecules contained in the food start to move rapidly. They bump into each other. In short, they also start to oscillate, and they do so pretty fast, at the same rhythm as the waves. And this movement, this agitation produces energy and heat. The very same phenomenon occurs when we rub our hands. It's heating up. Let's get back to popcorn. Corn kernels are made of water, lipids, and starch. Under the effect of microwaves, water molecules agitate. The temperature rises. Water turns into steam. It occupies a larger volume than liquid water. Pressure is rising. Starch is pushed to the periphery and becomes viscous until the moment when pressure is too strong. The shell quickly bursts open. Starch is projected outside and all of this happens very quickly, in less than two minutes only. By the way, it's also the reason why some containers explode when you put them in the microwave. They generally contain 
dishes whose ingredients are made of a lot of water and whose container is hermetically sealed. It has happened to all of us. Water turns into steam, creates pressure, and the lid finally pops off. That's why you should slightly open the lid or pierce it when it's a thin plastic film, which allows the excess steam to escape. I'm mostly concerned about radiation. Isn't it dangerous for health? In case of direct contact with the skin, yes. Radiation can be harmful and it can cause severe burns. But there is no need to panic when it's running. And once the door is securely closed, radiation remains confined inside the device. Let me show you. A very tight grid that we can see through the door, stretched over it, prevents it from passing. The oven housing on its side forms a robust metal cage which effectively traps microwaves. We call this a Faraday cage. Is this thing metallic? I've heard that microwaves and metal don't really mix well together. In fact, the walls of the oven effectively reflect the microwaves that spread in the device. It is designed for that. You should never put metallic objects with sharp edges inside the microwave. Tin cans, for example, spoons, forks, plates or even cups adorned with gilding. These objects do not contain water. The energy of the microwaves is not absorbed. However, they set in motion the electrons contained in the metal which accumulate at the corners, at the tips. By the way, this is called the tip effect. When there are too many, the tension causes a discharge, an electric arc, a brief flash, in other words. And that can be dangerous. To avoid any risk, I exclusively use plastic containers. Well, there are different types of plastic, let me tell you. Under the effect of heat, some plastics can release toxic substances, such as, for example, bisphenol A, that is recognized as an endocrine disruptor. It is now completely banned for sale in France. However, some plastic boxes that contain it are still in household. So, I would advise you to get rid of the old plastic containers lying around in your cupboards. In fact, a logo is displayed on plastic boxes that are compatible with microwaves and if you have a doubt, the best solution is to use a dish made of glass or ceramic. It even works with cardboard. I've heard that microwaves might actually contaminate food. So let's be clear. No, once your food is heated, it does not become radioactive. Moreover, microwaves actually help to preserve the nutrients that are contained in food. A bit similar to the process of steaming, when properly used, microwave is thus a safe and healthy way to cook. Oh, I think my dish is ready. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's just below me. See you all very, very soon. And have a good day, everyone. Why does cheese fondue become so stringy? Well, I'll answer that. And to even more such questions, in this little book, available in France for the time being, you will also find a quiz and a test to find out exactly what cheese you are. Personally, I'm Roquefort. Please check out the description. The link is just there.